As if the artist I'm back with another one, so this time around we will take our time. It is something like this. Time waits for no man. Let's go. Here we are in Cinema 4D once again. Is that as usual, my good people? Let's get down to it. Okay. Propping a cylinder, cylinder. NB. Okay, let's put one there. Let's deal with the various first. We use that to that size. Okay, the height is too much. 200 is just too much. Uh, fives. Wait, 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 20. You know what? Let me just do this by hand. Boom. Okay, the radius. That will do. Now, come with caps. Make sure you select that. Okay, 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 it's all. Press C. Come to edge. Zoom in, double click. Okay, you zoom out. Hold control, you do that. You scale that out. Go to your move tool. Move that up. Boom. That will do. Hold control, move it up again. Now, let's put this in a sub. Press N A. K on the keyboard, select that mesh, press KL. Make sure it's not symmetrical. Let's put one there. Thank you. Move to double click that edge. Go to scale tool. Let's move that baby up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, alright. We're getting something. Okay. Let's, let's double click those and see what happens if we spin it out a bit. All of it up. Okay, think I think I like that. Think I'll go with this one. Okay, okay. Oh, let me see what'll happen if I double click there and scale it out. Oh, okay, okay. We get in that shape. Let's crank those up. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good with this. Now, press Q. Select everything in the tray caps. We're just gonna slightly add some thickness to this. Before we go any further, oh, there's too much thickness. Let me pay attention. Oh, that will do. Hit you again. Just want to see nothing is overlapping. Ah, oh, perfect. Come there, slip to mesh. Take down on the keyboard less quickly. Put one there, make sure it's at the middle. Oh yes. Is at the middle. Thank you very much. Now press Q again to disable the sub D. Now we have to be smart here. UL Okay, now select that ring, delete everything Select that one Like I said, we have to be smart there Hold control, move that baby down Yes, like that right Come to a move tool Hold control, scale that out Activate. 
heck? Okay, now you see the idea here. What I'm trying to do. Just for normal. Cauldron will close. Close that hole. KL. Put one there. Make sure it's at a mill. Thank you. We can save the progress for now. Let's zoom this out. That's wonderful. I like the shape of the glass. You can make any adjustment if you like. Let me just try to put one here. Okay. Nope. Control Z. That will not work since we added some. Uh, what do you call? Extrusion. It's gonna look weird. Okay. So now let's work on the umbrella. Seven increment. Let's work on the umbrella. So for that we need a cone, right? Let's move our cone up. Um, caps. Uh, it has to be open at the bottom there. Now let's rescale that while we are focus on this only. Few solar boards, use solar part, and be on keyboard. Come to object, iron segment, bone. Let me put 12. Yeah. 12 looks proper. Scale that. Yeah, I think. I think I like this. Yep. Press C. So now with your C selected, come to a brush selection. Okay, all directly, drag it across. Now, Shift C, on your Shift C, type Edge to Supply. Hit Enter. So, what you've created now, make sure now you're on the model mode. Come to your code, now we have this spline. Move the spline up so you can see it. We are going to make a mesh from this using that guy. But first, it's to be in a circle. Okay, it's not showing now. Put it somewhere up down there. Move it up. Press H to bring it in. Rescale the circle. Yeah, and that will do. Circle selected. I'll hold out, bring in the sweep now. The coon spline, just put it somewhere there. Press in A just to see the whole thing now. It's too thick, we can work on that. Just put it somewhere there. Now come to your spline. Rescale the spline somewhere there. Slip sweep, come caps. Let me put a 30. Okay, it looks funny, go to segment, let's put 40, it looks proper. So now, let's drop in a cylinder, okay. The cylinder's down there, let's bring our cylinder up. Do the same, height segment, make sure it's one. Do that, put it somewhere there. Okay, okay. Yep, I think I like that. Press C on your keyboard. Now select that portion. Press I. Put one there, put one there, boom. All control, move it up. First I, 
put one there. Come to the bottom, select all of those. Now, hold them down. KL, make sure it's symmetrical cut is selected. Boom. Now, let's focus on that region. Press I, put one there. Another. Mm. Hold control, drag it down. Now you can move the entire thing down. Now we can bring in the glass views. Hot solo. Select that. Oh, somewhere there that will do. Press A to bring out, bring that in. Okay, okay. Now press I. Select those. Press I. Bring that one in. K L. Symmetrical cut. Put one there. Okay, now let's put this baby in a sub D. Sub D. Uh, I just put two. I'm going to try to put this curl under the sub D as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have that umbrella, umbrella thing, umbrella thing going on. So let's put everything in a null. Let's call that an umbrella. Save some time. Because I feel like it's taking too long, but we are done. If you've watched this tutorial to this point, I'm grateful. If you have any suggestion, drop those in the comments below. If there's any questions or any tutorials that you want me to do, also drop those in the comments or you can also go to the community section on the channel. Ah, move that somewhere there. Oh, <laughs> rotation. You know. can do this better in the right view. Come to the right view. Okay, in this side, it can be done so quickly. In in over. Oh, oh. oh my god, my umbrella is so big. Let me scale that a bit. That is friendly. So now, let's quickly make a straw. How do we make a straw? It's so easy. Okay, this is a bonus. This one is a bonus. Alex. Okay. Z Y is Z Y X Z. Okay, let me rescale that. Move this BB up. Ah, oh, let me add two more coils, the more coils, height, smooth it up. Yes. Press C. Okay. Come to the right view, make sure now points mode. Click that polygon pen. Just put one there. Press escape. Okay, press escape. Or select any other tool to disable that. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my escape? Oh, mention. If you press escape, I was not pressing escape. Okay. Okay, slim that one by click, go to shame for, and you do that, you leave it there. 
you do the same on the bottom. Slim that one. But click, shame for. There you nearly go. Okay, so you come to that part, you hold control, you drag that up. So we'll remove that spine, we'll end the helix one. It is perfect. Okay, now we just have to rescale the straw. Chain, I'll put it now. Put all of that in and now. Come on there and then we'll access like that. Move that somewhere there again. Enable access. Uh, so, you've seen now you can manipulate all of these tools in Cinema 4D to come up with something like that. It's not hard. You just have to make sure you use the right tools at the right time. Go to sweep, caps, make sure these are that disconnected so that can be whole. Uh, rotation, rotation. Rotation, rotation, we scale again. And we'll leave it somewhere there. I don't want to leave it there. So, ladies and gentlemen, as the artist as always, I'm grateful for watching. If there's any questions, throw those in the, in the comments below. Ah, check some links in the description. As the artist as always, mode.